So my devout to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my thoughts, to my thoughts, to my most serious thoughts. Therefore, I have sent to me a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. On the earth, and earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Holy begotten Son, Lord God, now God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, and receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the, the glory of God our Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the Blessed Apostle St. Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said to the people, I am a Jew and was born at Tarsus in Cilicia. I was brought up here in the city. I stu studied under Gamaliel and was taught the exact observance of the law of our ancestors. In fact, I was as full of duty towards God as you are today. I even persecuted this way to the death and sent women as well as men to prison in chains as the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify, since they even sent me with letters to their brothers in Damascus. 
When I set off, it was with the intention of bringing prisoners back from there to Jerusalem for punishment. I was on that journey, and nearly at Damascus, when about midday, a bright light from heaven suddenly shone round me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, and you are persecuting me. The people with me saw the light, but did not hear his voice as he spoke to me. I said, What am I to do, Lord? The Lord answered, Stand up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told what you have been appointed to do. The light had been so dazzling that I was blind, and my companions had to take me by the hand, and so I came to Damascus. Someone called Ananias, a devout follower of the law, and highly thought of by all the Jews living there, came to see me. He stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. Instantly my sight came back and I was able to see him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the just one and hear his own voice speaking, because you are to be his witness before all mankind testifying to what you have seen and heard. And now, why delay? It is time you were baptized and had your sins washed away while invoking his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Go out to the whole world to proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world to proclaim the good news. Praise the Lord, all the nations, acclaim him, all you people. The white world world, and acclaim you to you. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. The white world world, and acclaim you to you. Alleluia! Response to our prayers of intercession this evening is, Lord, remember your church. Lord, remember your church. Since we are part of a building that has the apostles for its foundation, let us pray to the Father for his holy people. Lord, remember your church. 
Father, when your son rose from the dead, you showed him first to the apostles. Let us make him known near and far. Lord, remember your church. You sent your son into the world to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of people's lives. Lord, remember your church. You sent your son to plant in the hearts of others the seed of the personal life. May we labor to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. Lord, remember your church. You sent your son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring others to your friendship. Lord, remember your church. We pray in a very special way at our Novena Mass this evening for all those who are poorly in mind or body, at home or nursing home or in hospital. I ask your prayers for a friend of mine in the previous parish, Kathleen Tully, who is very seriously ill this evening. And we pray for the intercession of our Lady of Lourdes, that all those whose health is a touch vulnerable tonight may be strengthened, sustained, and encouraged. Lord, remember your church. We pray too for all those families who are mourning the loss of a family member asking God to replace their sense of loss with his very own divine support, to replace their sense of desolation with his very own divine consolation. Lord, remember your church. We pray to you tonight for all those who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant help to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims who have died. Lord, remember your church. You placed your Son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive all our deceased loved ones into the happiness of your kingdom, and we remember in a special way at Mass this evening, Tommy Lapham, Matthew Hanratty Sr., Anne McAvoy, and Margaret McCausland, all of whose anniversaries occur today, while we keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks and days, remembering especially Father Joe McKeever, Dean Anthony Davies, his brother Terry Davies, Sister Kathleen Hendren, Christina Riley, Francis Paul, Michael Mallon, Thomas Moonen, Jennifer Fowler, Ursula Derry, and Amy Mallon. And we pray God may welcome these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones into his heavenly kingdom. Lord, remember the church. Let us pray. Today, Lord, we celebrate the conversion of St. Paul, your chosen vessel for carrying your name to the whole world. Help us to make our way towards you by following in his footsteps and by witnessing to your truth before the men and women of our day, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we pray our living prayers in honour of our Lady of the Miraculous Mary. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. We shall the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who in the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the light of the same Spirit, we may be truly wise and 
ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. Most holy Virgin, I believe and confess your holy and immaculate conception, pure and without sin. O most pure Virgin, through your virgin purity, your immaculate conception, your glorious prerogative of Mother of God, of King for us of your divine Son, humility, charity, great purity of mind and body, the gift of prayer, a holy life, and a happy death. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I cry unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. O Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Refuge of Sinners, who by a wondrous revelation to St. Catherine did promise that all who confidently were in the miraculous medal and comfortably offer the pity with prayer, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you, would receive abundant graces. We poor sinners, encouraged by your promise, Come with utmost confidence to implore your heart and intercession. Amen. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your powerful and impotent intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous method, we, your loving and trusted children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favours we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial for our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. In silence, we now offer up our respective personal, private petitions and intercessions. You know, O weary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son who hates iniquity. Obtain for us a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his great glory. Obtain for us also the spirit of prayerlessness and denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin. And at length the tent of that blessed abode, we are the Queen of Angels, and Amen. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary of Mine, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever praying for you. May we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O Virgin most powerful, Mother of our Saviour, keep us close to every moment of our lives, obtain for us your children the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us a happy course to you. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us a happy course to you. Yours as we stand at the table, you say. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle St. Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, with you. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostle, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and with dominions, and with all the host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, Lord God heaven, heaven and earth, earth will be your glory, O Santa in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord O Santa in the highest. To you, therefore, who is the mercy of the Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop, Michael his assistant Bishop, Sean our retired Bishop, and all those who hold you to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement. Sixtus Cornelius Cyprian, Lawrence Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering 
in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. He took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer pure glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on the high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, life, To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. 
you continue to make all of these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, you fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Of with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be
I live by the faith of the Son of God who has loved me and given himself up for me. O Sacrament, O Spirit, O Sacrament of God, all the praise of God has given me every moment of God. O Sacrament, O Spirit, O Sacrament of God, all the praise of God has given me every moment of God. O Sacrament, O Spirit, O Sacrament of God, all the praise of God has given me every moment of God. I place all my trust in you. In the master's heart of Mary. Pray for us. And for protection tonight. O we shall God, my guardian dear, whom God's love commits me here, ever this night I have my side, to light the guard, to do the guard. Amen. Amen. And we also pray this extract from St. Patrick's breastplate as a prayer for protection from the coronavirus. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right, Christ on my left, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord. And a perpetual light shall upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and souls of all the hidden in the heart, with the mercy of God, of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, Stir up in us the fire of charity with which the blessed apostle St. Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. Ave Maria, Smile in prayer.